that's uh, I that's felt it. for you when when you got released because earlier that day you were like, it's a dream, elimination chamber in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. It's awkward. Yeah. Then a few hours later, you're like, oh, by the way, I, I, I got released from WWE. Yeah. So what happened in between those two tweets? Got released. I got released. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put. <laughs> yes. Um, it was a rough day. Um, I will say since I returned to WWE, it was definitely a thought and a goal of mine to be able to do a big show in my uh, home country. And even just to return there in general on a tour. And um, it's something that I did ask many times about when I was there. When's the next tour? Because they hadn't been, they haven't been there for years because of all the, you know, um, the lack of travel and the restrictions for years. But basically I kept asking and I thought it wasn't happening. And then so it was kind of a surprise when I saw that, that tweet that there was a show happening there. Um, I still hadn't been told by anyone. So then I was like, wow. And I just thought, what a dream to be able to wrestle there. And then throughout the, what, the next few hours or so, we started hearing that people were getting released. And at that point, I won't, I mean, I can't say that, like, we were basically expecting calls at that point. Like, we were kind of, uh, you know, in that position where we thought we're probably going to get released. <laughs> and then we did, so. Do they call you guys together? Like, no, no, it was. And we actually weren't together at the time, so mm. so I, I was just at the the archery range, and uh, that I I felt bad not being there with Tanil when she got the call, especially given what had happened earlier that morning. I was with her when they announced the Australian show. So does do one of you guys get a call first, and you're like, oh wow, and then it's like, okay, do, is the other shoe gonna drop here? Like, are we gonna get another phone call? Like, so who got called first i actually I don't think, remember i, I missed the call i think you did but he just he just didn't answer the call <laughs> i didn't intentionally <laughs> no, then you, then not you don't answer. get released just, yeah, yeah like, it never heard, happened you know? yeah. um so i th i think you got the call but so we we had heard a, and a friend of ours had got a call first mm -hmm. so he'd text me and told me i was up and i guess it never occurred to me like one of us wouldn't get one i just i just thought we're both getting calls yeah. and we did but there are situations where like wrestling couples i'm thinking like matt cardona and chelsea like one gets released and the other doesn't the other gets to stay there for another year this could have been this could have happened yeah, yeah. you know like they, they could have had something for one of you guys and not for the other yeah if that uh i'll tell you for me personally i would have felt very guilty um <laughs> if it were me staying um i probably wouldn't have wanted to stay um if sh it was her who was staying i would have been totally fine with that i would have been happy for her and I don't, maybe she would feel the same way. I, I'm not sure, but um, I just felt like, and maybe uh, for me, it's partially the fact that, I, I mean, obviously I didn't get to do everything there is to do in, in the industry, but I had that year, year and a half as Madcap that I felt pretty good about where I got to really express myself at least in this character and have a, a ton of fun with, like you have no idea how much fun I had as Madcap. And uh it was fun to watch. <laughs> it was just, it was, it was a great time. And it was, I got to do goofy stuff. I still got to wrestle in long matches with, against great opponents. I mean, um, and just had like a, you know, just, I was just part of the team. You know, I was a main stay on the television show with a defined yeah, actual yeah, role. And I, I felt good about that. And, um, I just felt like, uh, of course, no one, I, I'm sure there's literally, Roman Reigns probably feels he's not used to his fullest potential and maybe he's not, you know, it's just like, that's probably not going to happen for 99.9% .9 of people. But I really felt like Tennille had so much more she could contribute and do. And she just really never got the chance to do it, especially the second time around. So that's, I definitely felt like I wish she had gotten more. 